Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. Our phones are not operating, so first of all, what do we have here? We've got a zinnia. It's a flowering annual. Um, blooms a long time. You keep it going, just pinch off the flowers as they finish up. And some of the other varieties that have longer stems make great cut flowers. Plenty of, plenty of summer left. Yes, there's right. plenty of summer left. We asked on Facebook for plant and garden questions. You came oh, through. We here we go. Julie Ann from Janesville. She says our Christmas cactus looks emancipate, emancipate, <laughs> em em emaciated. emaciated. Thank you. Wish we had calls. It was always beautiful. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Thank you. Okay, well, I would say, first of all, check the watering. Um, make sure that you are not overwatering or underwatering. The other thing is, is if you've had it for a long time and you've never repotted it, you might need to refresh the potting soil. So just pick a pot that's a little bit bigger than the one that you have, pop it out, tease the roots out a little bit, and then put some new soil in there. Cactus soil will work really well for that. All right, Stephan Madison says, my basil plant started flowering. At this point, can it be saved? Or, if I, or, or am I better off buying and planting a new one? You can just pick the flowers right off and that'll keep the, uh, the flavor going. Sometimes when herb plants start to flower, they start to lose their flavor. Uh, you can also replant, um, especially if you like little like micro basil, you can seed basil and cilantro too all summer long. All right. Pam wants to know, should we detach our grass to remove the dead and make room for some new growth? You know, I am not sure what's going to happen with the lawns this year with all the drought. Certainly, now that we're starting to get a little rain, I would gently rake to get some of the dead stuff out. I don't know that I'd go to the extreme of dethatching because that's sort of a that's a, a tough process for the grass. But what you're going to want to do is give them, give the lawn some water. That's going to be the biggest thing. If the roots are still viable, the water will get the new grass going. It, it's greening up a little bit. It has been greening up a little bit, especially where lawns weren't in full sun. All right, Matt up in La Crosse had it just moved into a new house with an absolute mess of a lawn, patchy, sandy soil weeds. Should I wait until fall or do anything at all about it? <laughs> I would say let's wait until fall. Um, certainly do some watering and see what you've got. You could, once, if the grass is viable and not dried out, you can certainly do a weed and feed and get rid of some of the weeds. And then once we get into fall, you can do um, a fall seeding and get some grass growing in those bare spots. All right, we are just about out of time. So keep answer, asking questions on Facebook. We'll have a few more here, but um, we'll do this again on Wednesday. Yes. So. Keep, and my, hopefully the phones will be working by then. Hopefully the phones will be And you can always email the plant desk, plantdesk at brucecumby.com, and we'll answer that too. All right. Lisa, thank you. Thank you.